what's happened in the last video. But by placing the metal in between two electrical things, you'll shock yourself. And it has to balance in between the cords. That's what I thought. And here is more, Mr. Toadman, sir. Take it in, you. Yeah, oh yeah, unlocked it. The key. Hey, look at the office. So, all the computers were left scrambled. Something happened, but some sort of an infection was released in this hospital. And everyone just, like, freaked the flip out. There's a stack of documents here. On the documents, Mittamuro was stamped. What about this little coffee? A red coffee cup has been left on the desk. It's completely full. Oh, well, apparently it's empty. Or not. I don't know. Did these computers say anything? A sticky label has been stuck to the computer monitor. The pin code for the door and the manager's birthday is the manager's birthday, so we won't forget it. Oh, I need to figure out the manager's birthday then. Is this guy going to be like, so we don't forget it, the pin number is blank. His birthday is blank. The department manager's coffee cup is red. So as not to be mistaken. Okay. So, oh, come on, manager. Come, you have to say something on it, right? You have to say numbers. No. Well, these are his papers then. Uh, everything on this one desk is his. So I need to keep that. Oh, let's, uh, I'll move you this way, I guess. Some cupboards are lined up. They are locked, so it doesn't look like they'll open. What about this little paper there? Uh, apparently I can't open the paper. Okay. What about over here? Nope. This paper? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you don't want me to look at any papers. Tightly written schedule's been written here. Hospital business look extremely busy. There's like at least six pieces of paper on that wall. That must be very busy. A document's been left on the desk. There are names written on it. It may be used for something, so I'll take this. Yeah, let's take a nameless piece of paper. A document that was on the desk in the office room. Okay. Okay, I need to remember this because I probably won't be able to read it again because of the uh, Japanese. Fuzuki Association. Charity Cross Hospital. Office Employee List. Araki. S450506. Internal Medicine. Kashiwagi. S421013. Ent. What does Ent mean? Kirishima, uh, S540220, Ent, Mikami, S350605, Internal Medicine, Mitamura, S420221, Surgery, Sho -shi Shimome, you can read that numbers yourself, Surgery. I found the cabinet in place there. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly helpful inside. Okay, thank you for alerting me of the fact. A pin code console is attached to the door. I have absolutely no clue what to put here, but it's four digits and I don't know whose birthday is four digits. I guess I need to leave out the year. So, uh, let's just back out of here. Okay, the pin code was wrong. Okay. Do you see that little name? That, the thing second to last? The 0221? That apparently says Mitsumura. So, I mean... I'm going to try 0221 to see if that works. If it does not, uh, I'm going to be pretty sad because I absolutely have no clue. The door opened. Oh, and just so you know, I tried I tried uh, pressing here and going to every single one of these cards that I have, right? All of them. I have like six. And I typed in all the names and none of them worked. Like all the dates. Ah. Uh, so I have a new area. Oh, so I'm just on the, 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 the west side. Okay, cool. Doesn't look like it opened. Okay. Can you stop screaming? You're going to- Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? It's gone now. What was it? What in the world was that? I'm not gonna go north now. Why would I ever go north? It's a juicy vending machine. Oh, it's just juice. Uh, a thousand yen. Okay, probably need to get something out of that. 100 yen. Probably also need to get something out of that. Can I go up here? Oh my gosh. Now what are you? This looks like some old dude. 
I smell incense. Let's uh go see what that smells about, eh? Seems good to me. Hmm. The corridor is blocked by a fire containment door. Okay, doesn't look like I can go that way then. Oh! Oh dear. Um. Okay. Um. What is go- There's some sort of screaming going on in there. Not sure if you can hear it. It's very faint. But wow! X-ray room was written on the door. Oh wow! Don't you screw with me! Are you making fun of me? Ah, you guys are in the wrong. If I cared about that, I'd be squashing you. It's locked, so I can't open it. Okay, I mean that guy's pretty angry. Man, little angry old dude. Okay, more fire containment doors. Apparently, someone opened the security right before everything went down. It's locked. Okay. I can't move. Oh, what are you? Why'd you do that? Oh, you unlocked it, didn't you? Just now, was there a silhouette in this room? Yeah, she unlocked it as well. Hey. Number 25. Toriyama Show. There's a running computer here. Okay. Apparently someone... Someone's hideout is here, and they actually have operational stuff. Okay, well, oh, there's a thing here. There's a computer that's been left running. There's an error on the screen, and it's frozen. Okay. Now, what the freak are you chanting about? Grumbling. Hi. You freak, you, you chant, then. You, you mumble that stuff. What is in here? N why did that girl just open the door for me? It's, it's going back room to chant. An emergency use flashlight has been attached to the wall. It looks like it's useless unless there's a power outage. I can't take it. I, uh, I guess I have to wait for the power to go out then. Yay! Oh, Yama Junpei. Junpei reminds me of someone from Clan as well. I don't remember who exactly, but someone, all right. A child's drawing. Is it a portrait? I wonder if they were trying to draw their mother. It's, is it gonna be that woman again? Or am I s the freak? Ha! <laughs> ah! What the? What is the page came alive? Oh come on! What the, why did that painting do that to me? I probably can't- oh, let's take the flashlight. Yeah. I bet that if I talk to that painting, it will, uh, you know, attempt to murder me. And this is the most pixely flashlight ever. I'm gonna go talk to this thing, though. But if I shine light on it, is it like Luigi's Mansion? I could shine light on it and then, like, vacuum it up? No. It's just gone now. Oh, and I'm holding a flashlight that the light is below- atop the, the light. I don't moan. I do not scream. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, let's go up. Let's go back. Maybe that girl will know what this is all about. Hey, you. Ah! Get in the way! Get up! Come on! Why are you doing this to yourself? Stop it! It's it's locked. The key. Where is the key? It's gonna be on her body, isn't? This is gonna be so dumb. Oh, oh, just, just give it to. Oh, it's not on her body. But she was the one to unlock the door to begin with. Did she like hide the key before she died? It's so weird. Oh, is this something? There's a bin containing pharmaceuticals. Okay. 
Oh, what? What in the world is that? What? What is? Oh! Look at it! Get out of here! Glitched the wall there. This is. I was not expecting this. Now, where would the key be if I were a key? That thing's getting pretty angry. What am I supposed to. Oh, it's dead? Is it dead now? Go pick up the key. It's right here. Oh, that was the flash. That was the lights. Oh, I shine the light on it. Nice. It's it's now gone though. What was that thing? Oh, that was the painting, wasn't it? Holy crap. Do I supposed to go kill that thing now? Gosh darn it. Why did you fall? Oh, there's a key on it. Hey. What the? I uh, rip and piece flashlight, I guess. Oh, well, let's time to leave. Let's hope that thing isn't gonna like kill me or anything. I don't need the key anymore. Okay, it's gone. Well, that was uh, an experience. I'm never going anywhere near that little four-leg creep crawly thing ever again. My throat was unusually parched. Swallow. I want a drink, but I don't have any money. Uh, so I need to get money before I die, apparently. Man, I'm never gonna go into any one of those offices ever again. There's gonna be, like, monsters in there. And what kind of thing did they release? Hanada Takashi. Okay. Fair enough, there's blood here. Nice. I can't get behind- There's gotta be something in the future where I take the school off of- This is a hospital. Take the hospital off of lockdown. What is this? I can leave. Okay. And the music turned like some sort of acoustic thing, so that's pretty nice. I'm in no Suzera. This is actually pretty calming. I, I like it. It's much less, uh... Oh. Okay. Well, I still like it. It's pretty funky. This is sort of reminiscent of the original Corpus Party soundtrack. Oh. So this is part of the entrance. It's all broken. There's blood here. You just sit down in the blood. Some letters written in the blood remain on the floor. Escape as soon as possible. The mad disease will be here soon. Uh, mad disease? What? I don't know either, girl. I don't know either. Guess there we go. I just saved three times. It won't open. It looks like the door has been auto-locked two points on the floor and ceiling. No matter how much Ayame pushes or how much she pulls, it does not budge. <laughs> Just give it two good old punches, that'll work. No way, this can't be happening, can it? Uh... A push card. Are you gonna ram the door open with it? There are an innumerable number of cracks in the glass, as though some hard thing went into its surface many times. But it does not appear to be completely broken. It doesn't look like a Yame can leave. This is someone hit it with a push card and tried to break the glass. I assume they tried to break the glass but cut themselves open and then with their blood wrote that message on the ground. What is happening? Don't give up. You can't give up, Ayame. I need to look for another exit. Earlier, there was a person who was walking around outside the pharmacy room. Farm? Hi. There are other people just like me in the hospital. Perhaps if I join with them, and they don't commit suicide using a rope that I'd have no clue how they even got, that'd be very reassuring. 
Search for an exit other than the entrance way. Can I can do that. As long as the player is only equipped with the lightweight items or light casting equipment, it's possible to move objects. When an object that looks like will move nearby, you can press the Z button. Ayame will grab the object. If Ayame has something grabbed, she can move the object up and down or left and right. For now, try moving the cart next to Ayame. I have been moving things all my life. I'm gonna like ram it in here. Just watch it. Oh! Mmm! Ah! Ah! You see, it was so powerful. What is here? Is it like brass knuckles? It looks like it. Oh, just a hundred yen. Alright. Well, let's go, uh... Get me some drinks, then. Wait, where am I? Please don't let the lights go out, it'll be completely dark! Dang it. You jinxed it, girl. No, wait, does that mean that the machines aren't gonna work now? I made another mess. Because her muscles were relaxed from being anesthetized. How do I even pronounce that? Ayama can't go on by herself. Ayama had also at some point became incontent. Incontinent or something. Sorry, look what I've done. The people at the hospital are gonna be angry if they're all still alive. If I can, I need to come back later to clean this up. I should, uh, change underwear. You, you there! What's wrong? Are you on your own? The crying and exhausted face of the little girl died with the color of fear in an instant. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So she's having flashbacks now. Who was that? Little girl just now. It was as though I had memories, yet as though I didn't. I was even aware that unless I protect her. I can't remember. Did she just pass out? Or did she throw up? When Ayame tried to push herself to withdraw those memories and open them, her head felt like it was being squeezed and she started feeling violently nauseous. What happened to me? That's right, I, I have to change them, my, my underwear. It's a person. Um, uh, please save me. It's a zombie! It's bright. This is bad. At any moment, my, my butt is dirty. Wait a minute. At, at the moment, um... So, sorry, but the flashlight is really bright, so... Uh, again, I smell incense. Are, are you okay? Like I thought, it's a normal person. Thank God. Um, I I don't understand anything that's going on. Uh, where is this hospital located? Could could he not hear me? Yes, everything is okay. Uh, I'm okay, or uh, I have a headache, and I don't understand why I'm here. And whenever I try to remember who I got, I start feeling nauseous. Everything is not Daijobu! Ah, get out of town! Yeah, it does. Don't stop running. Where am I gonna go? I'm just running in circles. He's not gonna beat me with that flashlight. I'm running for my life. Who are you? What in the world? Okay, I guess you're nobody. Can I make him punch you? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Punch you in the face. I just punch got punched myself. Okay. She is nobody. I'll run south. I. This is a wall. Okay. Let's go more south. Let's run away. I am 
I'm looking to be about dead. Alright, is everything all fine then? Alright, well, goodbye. I guess. That's it? Well, let's go buy me a drink, I guess. Everything was not Daijobu back there, but everything's Daijobu now. Candy's been left in the hooks of this vending machine. Looking closely, there's a key stuck in one of the hooks. Nice. Do I have to buy it? I think I need to buy it in order to get that. Uh, well, I know where to go to get one. It's all the way on the other side of the place, so I guess I need to equip the 100 yen and run all the way back to the beginning. Wait, what's up? What is this about? What is this? Oh, this is girl's bathroom. Hey. Is it gonna be like- Oh, is this where I'm gonna like change? I probably need to come back here to change later, don't I? No, oh, what's up there? There's toilet paper here. I'm gonna need that later as well to like wipe off some stuff. You know, like, my body. Oh, the key. Kamishima Surara. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go into the boys' bathroom now. But as Corpse Party always does, I'll be like, I feel weird going into the boys' bathroom. I can't do that. So let's... Okay, she just goes in. Oh. Whoops, this... This is bad. <laughs> you see, I just told you this happens every single time. You can't go in the boys' bathroom. Even in a post-apocalyptic scenario, you just can't go in there. Let's get me some drink. Yep. Yeah. There's only a hundred... I have a hundred yen. I have a hundred yen! I don't know about you, but I am holding a hundred yen in my hand! Gosh darn it! I came all the way over here for nothing, but this is a little card. Beppu. Beppu Toya. And that's a, that's a great name. Oh hey, there's a little section over here. What is this? Oh, this is where I just came from, isn't it? Those weird, weird people in the entrance way, so it's probably better not to go in there. Yeah, I'd say as well. You know what's also weird? The fact that a 100 yen vending machine doesn't take a 100 yen coins. Because I don't know about you, that's pretty crazy! What's this? Oh, this is the elevators. Oh, so this is what was stopping the elevator up top. Take it. A man's business shoe is sandwiched in the elevator door. The door is repeatedly opening and shutting at regular intervals. I wonder, even if the elevator was called up, it wouldn't have come. Remove the shoe from the elevator. Nice. Hey. Hi. Um, should I go in it? Can I click this one? No, I can't. I guess I'll go in it. Yeah. I am inside of the elevator. It's probably gonna drop and kill me or something. But that's fine. Seppuku Chiyo. I know it's Seppaku, but it makes a lot more sense if it were Seppuku. Alright, let's click the button. Which floor do I want to go? Second. Oh, I can only go back up to where I already was. And that just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Do I have anything different that I could use here? 100 yen. No? I guess I'll just go back down. Okay, so there's another boys and girls bathroom here. But as I know from past experiences, I can only go into the girl one. Hey, What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. More nothing. Absolutely nothing. And increased amounts of nothing. Oh, hey, look. I just didn't have the 100 yen equipped, so now I can get the key off the thing. Nice. On the label, second floor emergency staircase entrance is written. I got 10 yen back, apparently. Two 10 yen coins. They say you're 10, and they say you're 4 written on them. Head towards the second floor emergency stairs. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make sure to equip the key. So, head second floor emergency stairs. Where would those be? I don't remember seeing any emergency stairs. Well, I know that I'm supposed to go up this elevator now. No, nope, that one's locked. And the only other one I can think to open is this one. Oh, yeah. That's a stair thing, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. There's rain. It's pouring down, I can't keep my eyes open. You're gonna fall and hit yourself. In the haze of the downpour, the iron evacuation stairs are barely visible. 
Along the stairs, part of the staircase was rotted away and a big hole was opened up. It does not seem possible to get down to the ground floor. What about to the third floor? No, there's, there's no way out of this emergency exit either. Ah. I will be blown off the stairs at this rate. Anyway, let's go back inside. Be bad if I caught a cold. Oh, hey. Hikyu. Ah, ah, ah. Exactly what I'm saying right now. Get off me! The woman is trying to pin Ayame's arms with tremendous force and attempting to stab her with a syringe that she is holding in her hand. On the syringe, required disposal has been stamped on the side of the sticker and the needle is connected to the end. This is dangerous medicinal waste. <laughs> Did you just stab her in the neck with that? Uh, I know she's not. If you stabbed her in the neck with a needle, she's probably dead. Oh, okay, so she's okay, I lied! I lied! Oh man, please save me. I can't hold. Hey, you! And she looks very punk. Hey, you okay? You're the normal person, aren't ya? It seems like those guys are vulnerable to light. The owner of the light was a slightly chubby middle-aged woman. She has a large camera hanging from her shoulder. Oh, so she's another one of these, like, camera girls, except in the first Corpse Party was camera guys. Man, they're basically just reskinning people while I'm putting them into this game. You okay? Come on, stand up! If we are in the dark, those guys will come back and attack us again. There, the lights are on in this room. Okay, come with me. We'll do the introductions there. R right. It looks like multiple people have died here before. And that's like an x-ray thing. Satomi Ritsuko. I am a news photographer. You are? Oh, uh, Ito. My name is Ito Ayame. Hmm. Alas, you are also caught up in this now. What? Well, what's going on here? I don't know. I only remember up until I lost consciousness. So, people were sick before everything went down. On that day, I had caught a bad cold or something. I could no longer stop violently coughing so hard that it seemed like it would tear my lung. Before heading to an interview, I came to this general hospital, Patricia, to get an examination. They're still keeping me waiting. Come on! I'm shooting for one this afternoon, so if they don't hurry up, I'll be in trouble. I suppose that, for now, if I cannot at least completely stop the coughing, I can't go shoot anyway. <laughs> Complaining, I looked up through the air, through the atrium hole in the upper floor, towards the third floor. So there is a third floor. Wait. <laughs> what just happened? What was that? <sighs> I have to uh, record this. I feel bad, but this is a scoop.
Next thing I know, I was suddenly lying on the stretcher in a corridor on the second floor. Because I had a terrible bump on the back of my head, I think I was beaten unconscious by a bar or something. But before I was knocked out, I saw something very frightening. To be precise, I think I saw it. However, it was through the camera frame and my memory is a little hazy, so I'm not confident that this actually happened. What? The girl had been thrown from the third floor, her head was cracked and she wasn't moving, and then... <coughs> now, that's unnerving. What the heck happened? Let's stop this. I had a ridiculous delusion in the moment I passed down. The corpse got up or something. So then I came to, and in this situation, it was only by chance that I found that those guys are bothered by light, thanks to a nearby flashlight. Those black people? What are they? Don't tell me. I said I don't know. It's because I'm an adult, don't think you can ask me anything. Hmm. The dead are coming to life. Ghosts. I don't feel in speech with things in the prof my profession. I should only prefer the real. Some sort of poisoning symptom or mental disease. Those guys are basically the patients of some illness. Therefore, this can only be physically dealt with. They can be. At least. Oh, wait. There was a noise just now. Am I supposed to go like examine them? Uh, you better not look at that. It was the body of a suit-wearing obese male. His face was covered by a large cloth and he was not moving at all. Blood was pulled out from around the head. I was with him until a while ago, although I don't know who he is. Out in the corridor, those guys ate his face. A ate his face? Why, why something like this? It's dangerous to walk around the corridors. Hey, I have a proposal. To go outside exactly as you saw that with that woman. It's impossible. For what reason, I don't know, but all of the exits are... Window. Wait, all... But, uh, all the exits of the window have shielded by disaster prevented shutters. So until help arrives, I think it's best to find a safe place and barricade ourselves in. What do you think, girl? I think we should go to the nurse's station. The nurse's station can communicate with the outside, but the lights are on there. From there, we can keep communicating with the outside and wait for help. With a jango, Ritsuko pulled a key out from her chest to show Ayame. On the key, nurse's station is written on the sticker stuck to the side. Well, looks like we're going to head to the nurse's station then. Hey girl. Oh, I can just walk right through you? Anyways, let's head over then. Oh, what's this? What's going on? You didn't think much of barricading yourself somewhere, but there's definitely a chance of success, see? On the text message that Ritsuko showed to Ayane, Ayame, I'll absolutely come to save you. Wait in a bright room. Masami is this blade. Masami, my fiance. Even though there's 15 years between us, he's a nurse at the hospital. Oh, finally your face brightened up. Yeah. Oh, hey. I'll be definitely come, okay? Yeah. I'll definitely come eventually, probably. Well, even if we have to help ourselves. <laughs> 